Hi friends, uh, today we will discuss about uh, grid, uh, a AWS topic uh, related to EC2 instance creation and uh, how to automatically start and stop uh, with uh, the instance using a scheduled manner using the be below implementation basically. Okay, so the steps followed by like uh, you can create a EC2 instance in a free tier category and using uh, lambda function uh, we can create a uh, start instance uh, function uh, with using a python script like below okay uh, for a particular resource we can mention and which region it belongs to we can define that and using boto api we are going to uh, do this activity in addition i'm using json uh, library as well uh, to uh, retain the body information like that uh, you can see the uh, simple json function and similarly stop instance also we are going to create uh, one more lambda function okay basically lambda function as you know already is a serverless uh, 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 computation resource okay so and and uh, uh, in continuation of that uh, lambda function creation uh, we need to define a rule as well so finally we can do the uh, sample testing uh, whether the function is uh, responding as per expected uh, means like stop uh, we, we could able to stop and start the services uh, in smooth way once this all the things has been done finally we can create a, a cloudwatch service uh, and we can create a even rule to create a simple uh, what to say um, uh, easy to uh, easy to uh, start and easy to stop a uh, simple rule we can create it here and uh, with a frequency of uh, five minutes uh, interval we can schedule a stop and stop um, okay let us jump into the action how to uh, do this activity uh, in a practical demo okay so what i'm going to do the first thing is i'm going to create a free tier uh, ec2 instance that is elastic compute cloud instance okay for that i'm already into see uh, after uh, getting into aws uh, console login go to the ec2 services okay and here once you get in there you can go all the way to ec2 instance uh, you will find whatever instance you created here you can see in the all the way in the right hand side uh, launch instance simply click there okay now you can define the instance what you want to create it here my test server okay so let me do one thing okay once this is done so you can select amazon linux instance as an image uh, under that you can find a free tier eligible when we say free tier eligible it is not going to be costed for you so that is the reason i am selecting this one once that is selected uh, you keep uh, the instance type as uh, uh, t2 micro again this is also free tier eligible you no need to touch it and here in the key pair login since it is uh, uh, going to be a demo and uh, i'm not going to generate any uh, key pair value i'm making use of the existing key pair value what what i had generated before uh, i'm not going to explain in detail about these things because uh, this is not part of a uh, uh, purpose of the discussion here and uh, and in continuation uh, okay the network setting also i'm going to use the existing security group or uh, you, you will find the inbound or outbound rules over the security group okay i'm selecting the existing one okay so this is doesn't matter because we are going to make use of stop and stop only uh, when uh, so i'm not go going to much detail about security group also here and other than that this configuration storage as you see here free tier uh, category it is eligible for storage up to 30 gb um, i'm not going to touch the topic again so if you scroll all the way down you can launch the instance okay so it will take few minutes or uh, you can again click the instance so get to know the instance being launched successfully so now it's in a pending state in a few minutes uh, it is it will be up and running once it is ready uh, okay uh, we can get to know oh, means like oh, it's ready or not but meanwhile uh, we can go ahead and create a lambda function in parallel okay so lambda function okay so lambda function uh, once you get into lambda function you'll see create a function here right i can click the create function 
and you can give the meaningful name like as I already have the name ready start instance so I'm giving the name and down below the runtime you can select Python I'm using Python as the coding uh, means like uh, the supported language programming language Python as the language I'm selecting and architecture you can leave x86 64 don't touch this this is uh, what I will support for this type and the next thing is create a function okay once that is being uh, done in the parallel meanwhile you can copy this script uh, from here what I already took over so, okay so now so this is the default script it will give you for uh, your, uh, your ideas you can override the script here whatever you see and once this is done uh, this is the old instance what I had created I pointed now you can change it with your latest instance uh, information for example this is the latest instance okay you can copy the instance ID here okay and uh, you can replace with the instances here basically the region what I mentioned is you can see it from the down below see it is North Virginia you can see in the right hand side the region information you can copy and paste it over here and the instance also the east instance just now I copied from there you must have seen and uh, uh, from the Boto 3 this is the method the client method we are applying it uh, uh, the EC2 is the resource we are that is why we are mentioning like that and the region name this is the keyword we supposed to use it to uh, point the region which you are going to point it and down below this is the simple method it is defined it will accept two argument even context okay the the EC2 instance uh, and stop instances it's coming from the port 3 API uh, handler uh, and we are passing the instances what we already defined over in the uh, line number four when this is done we are going to return success as a status code when it's uh, uh, going to uh, do that okay so as you know already the instance is running now we, we created okay so now this is for start instance okay now we can deploy the code this next thing is okay but before to that deploying we can go to configuration and uh, you can uh, make sure that the permission granted properly because it will give the default permission uh, okay so now we can ensure that by going there and ensure the permission uh, to stop and stop new because this one i've already created uh, again the role i'm not getting into that you should this is uh, uh, basically the role uh, in the beginning of the scene uh, it will give the full permission uh, for the lambda function to access the uh, ec2 instance with admin property that is what uh, it has been defined in the role in the background okay uh, this is also done now go back to the code here okay and uh, deploy the code okay the code is deployed now so okay now this is for start uh, ec2 instance we created but the next thing what you need to do is we need to create a rule as well okay when we are trying to uh, uh, test it if, uh, you need to go to the configuration and uh, we need to do a uh, sorry uh, we need to go to test and here uh, when you go to uh, after coding part is done that uh, the test area we need to define the event name here so that is what i have defined here see okay so now we can define it okay and once the uh, event name is given okay so rest all you no need to touch it okay simply you can save this one okay uh, let us not test it right away okay let's create a, a lambda function for stop as well now okay go back to function create a uh, function and now let's go back and uh, stop ec2 instance okay and again select the python as the language and keep the architecture as is and here uh, you can use the existing rule because last time i had done in the different way go there and select the rule okay uh, create a lambda function now okay now it will jump into the default code it will prompt you or you may overwrite the code which i have created already okay so copy and paste it 
okay but make sure the tab and all everything is proper if the tab is not in order may it will cause the problem now you are good to deploy the code again okay again uh, here also we need to go to test section again create a rule okay so this is the rule we need to uh, you can give the meaningful rule name whatever you want in this case i'm giving my ec2 instance top okay now you can save it again okay so now uh, rules have been set for immediate testing purpose what you can do now the uh, instance is running for example we have two lambda function we can open up this uh, stop ec2 instance and try do a sample test whether it is stopping or not okay so come all the way to go uh, test and click simply plus the test icon okay here something going wrong okay so why because the instance name i didn't change it properly i believe so we have to change the lambda function okay so we can copy the instance name here okay and give copy the instance properly and deploy it again okay and go back to the testing test it here see here now this time it succeeded successfully it returned 200 and stop the instance as well okay now if you go back and see uh, the ec2 instance see it is in a stopping stage now okay so now uh, one more change i supposed to do it let's go back uh, uh, to start instance and code code here okay uh, let me give the meaningful uh, name as start start uh, your inst uh, instance okay so deploy this as well okay now oh, the instance once it is stopped okay the instance is stopped now so let us try with now start instance function as well so that uh, we'll double check the instances uh, the the lambda function is working as expected come all the way to the section test and try to test it here now okay this is also been uh, successful you can see here success 200 you can uh, download uh, down under you can see the results okay now uh, you can see the uh, you should see it should be started oh sorry again i made a mistake just a minute let me see here cool Oh, sorry, I, I forgot to change to start. Okay. Okay. So, uh, since I have given uh, the method name is stop, that is the reason it was not doing well. So, okay, now let's try to test. Okay, let, did I deploy it? Okay. Okay, it's deployed. Now, go back and test it now. Okay, now this has been executed successfully. Instance been started. So let us see the law. Okay. Okay, now if you see and refresh it, it's in the pending status from stop status. It is being stop started. So that is why the status have been changed to stop to pending. Let's wait for a few minutes. It should be in a running few minutes. Okay okay now you can see the log here okay let me go back okay okay now you see oh this is the instance has been successfully started okay so now if you if you come again okay now instance has been started successfully so now the same manually whatever we had done let us try to implement the final step like creating through the cloudwatch event rule with the easy to start and easy to stop rules okay let us try to do that so how to do it uh, so go for cloudwatch here okay now once you get into cloudwatch you can go to under uh, event you can go to rules under rules you can create a rule here again i'm going to give a meaningful name like easy to start okay and this is optional description no need and uh, here uh, you can select a schedule and don't go with the sh uh, scheduler continue create a rule and again uh, here don't select a, a fine grained schedule instead uh, we can regular rate here we can select a minute and give five minutes as a frequency and give next 
and here uh, leave the target types as AWS service because we, we are going to use the AWS service uh, like lambda function what we created under that this is the two services already uh, the lambda function which we created right so we can mention because it is start we mentioned right you can select the start function and don't try to uh, do any steps so leave it and, and click next and if you want to give the meaningful tag you can give it this instance I'm not giving and that's it say next and create a rule okay and similarly you can create one more rule okay for stopping okay so give the name as stop easy to stop okay and give schedule and continue create rule and again sh select schedule that run regular rate and select minute here give five minutes second okay and select lambda function again okay and select stop this time and next next create rule okay so now both the rules have been set so now if you go back and select ec2 instance now and select the instances which is running see here it's running right okay now instant uh, if you wait for a few minutes uh, you'll understand the scheduler automatically will kick off for starting and stopping uh, in sport because uh, uh, the previously we manually a uh, use a lambda function for testing purpose to stop and stop it the same function have been uh, included in cloudwatch with the current of five minutes interval to kick off for starting and stopping it will uh, happen uh, through cloudwatch rules okay uh, thank you friends for watching my video please subscribe my channel